Our top story in the U.S., the big question being asked is who wrote the anonymous op-ed in the New York Times targeting President Donald Trump? An angry president is demanding answers while his aides are busy offering denials. In an interview well, to Fox be, News. Because really what they've done is virtually, you know, it's treason. President now Trump's the president has slammed the New York Times for publishing the article. He called it an act of treason. They don't like Donald Trump and I don't like them because they're very dishonest people. Remember this also about the New York Times. When I won, they were forced to apologize to their subscribers. They wrote a letter of apology. It was the first time anybody's ever done it because they covered the election incorrectly. So if the failing New York Times has an anonymous editorial, can you believe it? Anonymous, meaning gutless, a gutless editorial. Uh, we're doing a great job. The poll numbers are through the roof. Our poll numbers are great. And guess what? Nobody is going to come close to beating me in 2020 because of what we've done. We've done more than anybody ever thought possible in it's not even two years so thank you very much now the u.s vice president mike pence secretary of state mike pompeo defense secretary james mattis and director of national intelligence dan Coates have all denied writing the opinion editorial which was published on wednesday the anonymous article titled i am part of the resistance inside the trump administration asserts that many senior officials are part of quote unquote a quiet resistance within the administration the op-ed sparked a guessing game in Washington and prompted a frenzied search for the author. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who previously served as Trump's CIA director, said he was not the author and slammed the Times for publishing the piece. As a good faith measure uh, coming out of the Singapore summit, uh, we have no plans at this time. Like a hostile intelligence service? Talks like a hostile intelligence service. Our priorities, if confirmed, is to assist in the defeat of ISIS. And we see today in fact, Donald Trump has reacted once again to the anonymous article. He has slammed the article in an interview. Listen in. Are you any closer to knowing who did it and what should be done if you find out who did it? Well, number one, the Times should never have done that because really what they've done is virtually, you know, it's treason. You can call it a lot of things. But to think that you have somebody in all of the cabinet, so many people, as you know, they came forward, they're writing editorials. They're all saying, you know, it's got to be at a fairly low level because so many people today, I was just coming out, and I see all the people that are saying such great things. We have a lot of love in the administration. And the White House is truly, as you would say, a well-oiled machine. It is working so well. The latest act of resistance is the op-ed published in the failing New York Times by an anonymous, really an anonymous, gutless coward. You just look. He was, uh, nobody knows who the hell he is or she, although they put he, but probably that's a little disguised. That means it's she. But for the sake of our national security, the New York Times should publish his name at once. I think their reporters should go and investigate who it is. That would actually be a good school. When somebody writes and you can't discredit because you have no idea who they are, usually you'll find out it's a background that was bad. It may not be a Republican. It may not be a conservative. It may be a deep state person that's been there a long time. You don't know where. It's a very unfair thing. As you all saw this week, the Senate is now considering a truly exceptional nominee for the United States Supreme Court, Judge Brett Kavanaugh. And he's doing really well. But do you believe the anger and the meanness on the other side? Sick.